Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome to my channel where I do all things Sims including builds and build tutorials and tours and pack reviews and challenges and all sorts of stuff and where today I am doing a little video tour of a little cottage that I made and those of you that watched my random room challenge will recognize the random room that's in this but I did a room challenge. My last video was a room challenge and I ended up getting a kitsch study room. So that was my first attempt to kitsch. And so that is in this house, but none of the rest of the house actually matches it. I did this with a gardener in mind, someone that really likes flowers and, and arranges flowers and stuff like that. And so there's a lot of plants in the front and there's some gardening space in the back and all of that. And yeah, so, and I made a Sim to go in here too. And she's, I, I like her. I've like fallen in love with my Sim that's in here. Her name's Kara. And she has vi visitors over while I did the video. So we get them in a few of the different shots. But yeah, the rest of the house is sort of calm and tame and a lot more neutral with grays and and tans and browns and things like that mostly and uh, and then we get to the kitsch study and it's sort of like this overwhelming color splash which is is funny so that's that's this sims kind of creative outlet room so she has the rest of the house that you know is is for sort of calm relaxation and then we get there and it's the crazy room <laughs> at least that's my thought on it but yeah, I had some fun with this this house. I wanted to build something kind of kind of casual, really. It's it's sort of casual. It's kind of quaint and not too large. It's just it's just a little ranch or did I call it a cottage? Cottage ranch, whatever. It's it's you know, it's kind of around those lines. It's probably maybe a little bit big to be a cottage, probably more a ranch than a cottage, but yeah, you know. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? But yeah, so I just kind of wanted to, oh, and I, I forgot, I have that photo in here. I used a photo from someone else. I have to write the name of this person. I've been following them for a while. It's like Takasis or something like that. And they have a lot of good artwork too. You know, I usually use artwork from Jules64 in my houses, but um, but Jules hasn't been putting out new stuff lately. I don't know why. She's sort of gone away for a minute. But I wanted to check out someone else's, but I only have one artwork piece and it's in the bedroom and and that's the only artwork that I got from someone that I downloaded, you know, off the gallery. So, and we are in the kitchen room with the mass color stuff burst in here. <laughs> Although it seems that a lot of people kind of liked this. So I even had at one point, my husband even looked over my shoulder and he saw this room and he was like, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> So, and I told him I did this room challenge and I, I got kitsch for the room. And he's like, oh yeah, you nailed it. So I thought that was, that was pretty cool. That's way more actually my husband's style than my own. I, I'm not a kitsch person. So it was way, way outside of my comfort zone. So, but now we have the backyard. We've got a little bit of a garden area with some bees. And then we have her little flower arranging space over here so yeah so that's that's mainly this this home is for a sim that does flower arranging and stuff and it's just like a quaint little home it has some uh it's got some solar panels and it has the uh the laundry line and and wash basin basin instead of laundry machine so uh, a couple of a couple of little things like that did something a little bit different there with that stuff too and yeah so that's kind of about it for the little house. And yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, I'm kind of hoping I get some build inspiration between now and next week because I haven't had a whole super lot of inspiration lately. I've kind of been doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So but just kind of wanted to create something cute. So if you guys think it's cute and you like it, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button before you leave. And if you're not subscribed and you enjoy Sims content, then definitely hit that subscribe button before you leave as well. And thank you all so much for spending the time with me today. I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.